Welcome back to setting up the Wi-Fi Pineapple pager. We are continuing on into the settings menu, having gone ahead and flashed our firmware with the latest and done a little tour of the general dashboard interface. Now let's go ahead and just jump into settings and behind me, you'll notice that it is mirroring what's on the screen. You'll learn why here just in a bit. But if I just jump into settings, we'll notice right off the bat that the interface is kind of divided into two parts. Along the left, you have these, let's call them tabs, general, display, ringtone network, system, date time, GPS, updates, help, and about. And then you can get into any of those by either pressing A or using the right arrow. Now, I'm gonna fly through these. A lot of them are very obvious, but some I particularly like to tweak, especially when I'm getting started with a newly set up Wi-Fi Pineapple pager. Volume should be pretty obvious. This is where you can mute your device, high, medium, low. Vibrate is whether or not it should vibrate. And vibrate with ringtone is a very special thing where in addition to playing your ringtones, it will vibrate with those ringtones. I like to put that off, but that's just a personal preference. Your theme, by default, we ship with a theme inspired by the movie War Games. And that is the default theme. As you add more, they will show up in this list and that's how you can change them. The D-pad LED, you will notice that all of these right now are magenta, but if I'd like, I can make them all red and there you go. Okay, so on to display. This one, I always like to change, my brightness. Now on camera right now, 100% looks pretty good. Let's try 75%, how does that look? Eh, I don't think it's as good on camera. I'll keep it at 100%. But the one thing that I definitely wanna do is change my dim brightness. So dim brightness means that it will dim the screen to one of these set percentages. It's the highest is 50%. And what I'll notice is that my dim timeout is 15 seconds. That means if I don't touch my device for 15 seconds, the brightness is going to dim to 50%. I'm going to set this to one minute because I'm making these videos here for you. And it's going to be upset because that differs from my screen timeout. So let's first set my screen timeout to a, something higher than a minute, in this case, five minutes, and we'll set our dim timeout now to one minute, and there you go. Now, a note on your screen brightness, similar to your mobile devices, your smartphones, it is one of the biggest impacts to your battery life. So the duty cycle of using the screen and the brightness of your screen is gonna have just one of the largest impacts, something to keep in mind. All right, heading over to ringtone. These are where you set the ringtones for the various states like error and disconnecting the power and your boot up. Uh, the alert is your generic alert. And so there are several ringtones out of the box in here. Um, there are in fact some based on one of my favorite games growing up, and we'll see if anybody actually recognizes these. And it will play them as you choose them. On to network. So here's where we have the different frequencies that we are listening for in Recon. And I'm gonna go ahead and just turn on six gigahertz. There we go, I'm gonna turn off Bluetooth. We're really not doing anything with that right now and I can set my host name. By default, they're all gonna be pager, so I'm just gonna make mine pager123, or whatever you would like on your network, save, and that is going to be the host name, and you'll probably see that in your prompt when you SSH in, uh, as well as on your network. If we go to the second page of network, you'll notice that we have client mode and management AP, and there are both the setup wizards, or uh, to, to set those as well as the toggles to turn them on and off. So let's first work through client mode. What is client mode? Well, it's what allows the Wi-Fi Pineapple pager to connect as a client to a nearby access point, typically to provide it with internet access. A very obvious and simple example of this would be if I wanted to connect this to my home Wi-Fi network so that it would be both on my network so I could, you know, see it on my network and potentially access it, but also so that my Wi-Fi Pineapple pager would have access to the internet. And that would be great so that I could then check for updates and download and install new firmware over the air. So to do that, if you go into client mode setup, this is where you're just prompted for a couple of parameters. You've got your network name, the encryption type, you know, whether it's open or WPA2 or three, and the passphrase. I'm not going to go ahead and walk you through this now, but 
That is how to get your Wi-Fi Pineapple pager online. And once you've completed that setup, you can then toggle this. If I try to toggle this right now, it's going to be mad. It's going to say, hey, you haven't set it up yet. And OK, that's true. So I highly recommend you get uh, your pager online so you can check for updates through client mode setup. Now, management APs. The management AP is a special access point on most all Wi-Fi pineapples that is intended for you, the operator, to connect to your Wi-Fi pineapple wirelessly for exactly that, management. And if I go into the management setup, you'll see that it's very simply those same prompts, the network name, the encryption type, and the passphrase. But unlike the previous wizard where we were talking about connecting to an access point, this is where we are hosting an access point so that, say, my phone can connect to the Wi-Fi Pineapple pager. And then I can access this really cool uh, virtual pager interface right there on my phone. That's pretty cool. So in that case, I'm going to give it a name. It has an SSID of pager. We'll set this. We'll say edit and I'll say, I don't know, I'm going to use my initials. I'm going to say DK for Darren Kitchen. So pager DK. I'm going to save that. Encryption type, we're going to keep as WPA PSK, right? WPA2. I'll set a passphrase and I'm not letting you see this. Trust me, it's a really good one. And I'll go ahead and hit save. OK, and save here. And so now if I check this box, it's going to go ahead and spin up that access point. And I'll now be able to see it from my laptop, from my smartphone. And it's just for the management. It's very different from the Pine AP rogue access point stuff that we'll get into soon. Now, under system, we can see our toggles here for virtual pager, which, like I mentioned, is behind me. This is at that address, the same address that you used for setup and a port number 1471. So that address right there is where you would go when you're connected to the Wi-Fi Pineapples network over the management interface or as this laptop is connected to over the USB. Because remember, that USB-C interface also provides network access as it has an integrated USB Ethernet adapter. Moving on, we have our root password. We can edit it again here, or like I said, you can SSH in and run passwd. Oh, by the way, did I mention this about the virtual interface? If I literally just scroll down, I have a shell and I could run passwd and change my root password. I'll hit control C and cancel that. But there you go, right there from your browser. Um, I also have whether or not SSH is enabled. I can set my pin code. And uh, I can see that NTP or network time protocol is turned on by default. You want to be more silent. You don't need this. You can turn that off. And then factory reset will, of course, set all of these settings back to the way they were when you just got it out of box. All right. Date and time. We uh, went through this on the initial setup. And I mentioned that you need the time zone. I've set that. But if I needed to set it again or I, I'm you know, moving somewhere, I can do that. GPS is going to be specific to using a GPS module or accessory um, or say the glitch GPS mod. So if I had this plugged in, I would then just need to go into this setup and choose the serial device, set the baud rate, uh, and I would be able to see my Latin long. You'll notice that actually when I uh, enter this, I have a different status bar that includes that uh, little uh, GPS satellite icon to let me know whether or not I've got a fix. So that's kind of cool. And that is great for use when we're driving as there is integration with Wiggle. Now on down to updates. Like I mentioned, this is where you can check for updates. I haven't connected it to the internet, so it's going to say, hey, I can't check for updates, which is why client mode is so helpful. And then you have your help, which is where you can get to the tutorial again, as well as about which is a special menu that will tell you things like your uptime and the status of your battery and the temperature and how much disk space you have and the IP address that the wireless client mode received from the access point, uh, as well as your loot packages and handshakes. And that right there in a nutshell are settings. But in uh, just a bit, we're going to go ahead and continue on learning the ins and outs of our Wi-Fi Pineapple pager.